A very good morning and welcome to London King's Cross. Today is the first time I will travel to Newcastle on board Britain's newest train operator called Luma. They provide up to five services a day between London and Edinburgh. Lumo promotes itself as a low-cost, climate-friendly and fast alternative to flying between the capitals of England and Scotland. My departure is delayed today and by the time we leave London King's Cross we will be 10 full minutes behind the scheduled time of departure, which doesn't seem to be a great start. Lumos class 803 trains were ordered from Hitachi for a total delivery of five identical five-carriage long train sets. They are fully electric and do not have any capability to run on, for example, diesel. We will also be departing from Platform Zero today. Did you know that there are only eight other Platform Zeros in Great Britain, one of them being Edinburgh? As you can see, the train is only arriving at the platform now. By this time, we should have already left the capital. trains are formed of five carriages, all of standard class accommodation. Half of carriage E doesn't have any seat reservations, otherwise you can choose to reserve a seat anywhere on the train. I'll be travelling in carriage D today, and I have on purpose chosen a forward-facing window seat. The seat's quality is surprisingly good for a low-cost service. Seats are even a little bit reclined and have a headrest, which I believe is a nice touch. My favorite thing about these seats is the tray table, which can be extended and also offers a reading light in two levels of brightness. We finally depart at 10.35 or 10 minutes late. Total journey time to Newcastle will be 3 hours with no stops in between. Top speed will be 125 miles per hour or 201 kilometers per hour. Hello, Michael. How are you? Wait, so what are you doing? 
A little while after Finsbury Park, we stop at Red Signal, which is direct consequence of our late departure from King's Cross, as now we have to run behind other trains. I was very impressed by the connection speed, which is by far the fastest I have experienced on any domestic trains in Britain so far. One thing which disappointed me on this journey was catering service. I ordered some breakfast online using the service called Lumo Eats, but I was told by onboard staff that the vendor did not deliver food, and for some reason it all happened due to a last minute platform change at King's Cross, which was a little odd. Also, the promised trolley service has never reached our carriage.
As we are now approaching Newcastle, I'll take this moment to sum up the first experience with Luma. To be honest, I believe there are lessons to be learned as the company is gaining more real-life operations experience. The initial delay and rushed boarding process were quite disappointing. The train looked a little overcrowded, with some customers having to stand all the way up to Newcastle, and it didn't have any proper catering service either. On the bright side, we managed to regain the time lost due to late departure from London and arrived in Newcastle on time. I personally really liked the seats and the large tray table with the reading light. As for the price paid, I only spent £13.90 for this journey, which I believe is an exceptional value for money per mile travelled. Have you already travelled with Luma yourself? Make sure to leave a comment below. I hope you enjoyed this journey with me today. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing as I post new videos on a regular basis. Thank you for watching. This train has two coaches. Bristol Parkway and